So I'm just here with Finn and he is hanging out on his place bed here this morning. And uh, my assistant Robin is gonna be showing up here at uh, any minute now. So what we're gonna be doing is a setup here with Finn. And uh, what a setup is, is it's a controlled experience. So I know that Robin is coming over and she's, I've informed her that she's gonna be knocking on the door and uh, acting kind of loudly and a little bit exuberantly while Finn is on his place bed. Cause we wanna set this up. So if Finn does break this place bed and goes, switches into a reactive behavior, which he's known to do, we are immediately ready to address and correct that behavior and work through that experience to teach him an alternative behavior, which is gonna be laying on his bed, which we have done this with him several times. So my hope for this exercise and the reason we're setting these up and we set them up very, very frequently is so we can pattern in new behaviors. My hope here is that he maybe lifts his head up and then relaxes himself as I go answer that door and doesn't even move. If he does get up and barks, if he gets up and gets off the bed, I'm gonna mark with a no and correct on the e-collar at a high level. We're gonna have this up to a pretty motivating level to really control that behavior. Um, so what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna have Robin come in, she's gonna knock on the door, and then if he breaks that, we're gonna say no, and we're gonna correct. If he stays on that bed and does the behavior that we like, if he, if he does the behavior we like, what we'll do instead is we'll mark it with good and we'll reward him. And these setups are something that we, we do here all the time and that's like one of the biggest parts of the program, but we also encourage owners to set these control experiences up anytime they can. So if you know like, you know, your significant other or a family member is coming home from work or coming over or you have company, set this up and be successful. So a few ways to make this extra successful are gonna be taking uh, Finn's leash here. He's always, he's gonna have his slip leash on him, especially for the first little bit at home. And what we can do, Finn, is get him up here and back tie this leash, Finn, come. I'm just gonna switch this out, it's all tangled up underneath it, Finn. Oh my goodness, you goober. Come, place. What we can do is we can back tie this leash to a door handle or a strong, sturdy piece of furniture. Um, keeping him in place here, right? This means like, if I do this here now, he can't actually physically get all the way to that door. If my company comes in, he can't really reinforce the behavior of rushing up to them, either excitedly or aggressively. He might still bark and jump off that bed, which I can easily mark with a no and correct without him coming all the way over here and me having to chase him down at the door because he's very, very quick. So again, keeping these safeties in place, especially when doing these setups is very helpful. And uh, even using them in your day to day so you know that if you're not doing a controlled setup, you still have some some control, right? And again, having that e-collar on us at all times, so even in the event it's not a controlled setup, we can still correct that behavior in a timely fashion and be ready for that. But but these controlled setups, like I said, are they're pretty much everything here. So making sure we're doing these, especially when he comes home, making sure you're being diligent about performing these setups and practicing this stuff with him really will pay off. So Finn down. Good boy. Dom was being a huge dick with the door like a month ago. Are you being a dick, Dom?